Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python class and today we are going to have a lecture session on uh, network analysis on the topic called the project management uh, using the critical path method. So in this uh, topic uh, we are going to see how we can construct a network diagram for the projects calculating the start finish and the slacks times and also constructing a time chart that will represent the uh, summary for the uh, uh, start finish and the slack times. So a network analysis or network technique are often used in planning, scheduling and controlling the progress and completion of large and complex projects that contains many interrelated activities or for carrying out the analysis of these uh, above mentioned managerial functions. So one approach that has been widely used in the project management uh, is the critical path method in which a network diagram depicts precedence among activities. So the critical path uh, method aims at the, the determination of the time to complete a project and the, the important activities on which a manager shall focus attention. So in CPM, it is assumed that the precise time estimate is available for each activity. Okay, how do we do in critical path method? So in the planning and scheduling phases of the critical path method analysis, three basic steps are carried out. That is constructing a network diagram to depict the precedence among activities, calculating the start, finish and slack times, constructing a time chart to display results of the step two and step one. Now, uh, in order to illustrate all the above mentioned processes, we are going to use this uh, example here and see how we can go through all the three steps uh, in the critical path methods. So we have uh, this problem. Uh, in the next slide, we are going to have a table so the table below shows major activities for a completion of a certain projects. So the question is, uh, you are required to prepare a network diagram for uh, activity on ARC and activity on Node, also to determine the earliest time, late time, and float time. And uh, also, lastly, you need to construct a time chart. So the table for this question is here. So we have activity in this first column, okay? We have this activity and we have this respective duration of this activity. So uh, first we need to uh, rename our activities, okay? Because we are given the activity in terms of nodes. So we add this name for activities this is A, B, up to G, and we have the immediate pre uh, predecessors for these activities. Basically, you can see uh, activity uh, labeled with uh, from node 2 to 5 uh, is start after completion of activity 1, 2. So its predecessor is A, also activity 3 to 5, as activity E has a predecessor uh, one, two, or activity B. So, and the uh, act last activity, which is activity uh, five to six, which is activity G here, you can see it comes uh, immediately after uh, two activities D and E. Okay, so these are durations as given. Now, after having the names for uh, or renaming the activities with the new names uh, and the basically these new names because we are going to construct a network diagram for activity on node so activity on node basically we need this kind of labels uh, instead of this node labels okay so that's why we decided to relabel our activities so after this now let's go to the next slide and see what next so the first part uh, for this uh, problem is to construct a network diagram. So we start with the activity on ARC. So uh, let's consider uh, this uh, part of the graph with activity and the duration. So these numbers here represent the nodes. 
So we start with activity on arc or activity on arrows. That means we are going to uh, construct a network diagram with uh, activities labeled on arc. Okay, so uh, we have this part. So to start with, you can see we have three activities which start simultaneously. We have activity 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So these activities, basically, they start simultaneous. And you can see here, we have the network construction for three activities starting uh, from the same node here. Okay? So these three activities, they basically start simultaneously. And we are going to label them as a with the uh, respective duration uh, which is uh, activity 1 2 we labeled it as activity a and the 1 3 as activity b and 1 3 as activity c uh, with their respective duration so after activity uh, 2 or 1 2 1 3 and 1 4 we have other activities which are 2 5 and 3 5 so uh, you can see these two activities here, activity 2, 5, and 3, 5, they have the uh, common uh, end point. That means they have the common end node. That means there are two ac different activities, one image from 2 uh, and the other image from node 3, but they have the same or common node at the end. Now we are going to have that network uh, for activity 2 to 5 and 3 to 5 with their respective labels and time. After these two activities 2 to 5 and 3 to 5, we are having the last two activities 4 and uh, 4 to 6, 5 to 6, but also these two activities they have the common uh, endpoint. So we have activity 4 to 6 which uh, will uh, emerge from this node 4 to uh, some point 6 somewhere and uh, we have 5 uh, also to 6 to some a point somewhere. So these two activities imaged from 5 and this 4, they have their uh, common end. Okay, so we are going to construct that network and we are going to have this final network. So this is the uh, final network for activity on arc or activity on arrow with their respective label. So uh, after constructing this one, remember part A of the question uh, requires to construct a network diagram for activity on arc and activity on node. So the second part of uh, a question in part A is constructing a network diagram for activity on node. So let's see how we can construct that. Now we consider uh, this part of the table remember we have the activity name we are going to use activity name and the uh, these predecessors okay or the translations of this activity as activity names and predecessors with their respective duration to construct a network diagram for activity on node so activity on node basically we are going to label our activity on nodes okay uh, this time we are not going to label on arrows, uh, instead we are going to label our activity on nodes. That's why we are going to use these activity names uh, instead of the activity uh, represented as uh, nodes. Okay, so you can see uh, these three activities A, B, and C, they don't have predecessor, but they start at the same time, simultaneously. So what we do because they don't have predecessors, you cannot construct a network for hanging activities A, B, and C. So we construct a start node, okay? We are going to have a start node, okay? At this point, you can see it. Let's shift this one up to this point here. We construct a start node uh, for these three activities as we have seen that they start simultaneously and then uh, we move to the next step that is uh, activity A, B, and C now are connected with this dummy activity. So this dashed line represents the dummy activity and dummy activities basically they don't consume time or resources. 
Therefore, after constructing these immediately uh, activities, which starts at the same time, then we go to the other activity. Activity D, it comes after activity A. So A, A is the predecessor for activity D. So we move from uh, A to D, and then we have activity E, which emerge after activity B. And uh, we are going to have activities uh, F, which is the uh, activity coming after or start after completion of activity C. And uh, lastly, we are going to have activity G, which have two predecessors, D and E. So once D and E are completed, then you have activity G. So, but you can see these two or final activity G and F, uh, they form a last part of our project. So we need to end up our projects. So once activity G and F uh, completes, then we are going to the end of our project. So this is a network diagram for activity on Node. So thank you for watching this part of the video. In the next video, we are going to see now how are we going to compute or to solve or to determine the late time, uh, early time, and the slacks or floats of our projects. Thank you, and meet in the next part of our video.